the Skyview News. Today's Thursday, February 15th. We're your anchors, Kat and Mackenzie. Our first story is about the frog dissection being performed in Ms. Bachman and Ms. Smith's classroom. What do you call a frog with no back legs? What? Unhoppy. Ha! Huh. Frog dissection helps students learn about the frog's anatomy and can help them compare our anatomy to the frog's. Let's quit lollygagging and get to the interview with Blake. Hello Skyview, my name is Blake and today I'm going to be interviewing students in Ms. Bachman and Ms. Smith's class about their frog dissection. Ms. Bachman and Ms. Smith's classes are dissecting frogs to learn about their internal organs. They dissect the frog because it is similar to human internal organs. I'm here with Emily Eager and I'm going to ask, be asking her a few questions. Were you excited about the frog dissection? Um, I was pretty excited because I like doing dissections, but I, I hadn't done a dissection on like an actual animal before, just like parts of animals, so that was really exciting. How did you like the, the frog dissection? Why? Um, it was it was pretty fun, but it was also kind of gross because we had to open up the frog and like take out some of its organs, which was kind of gross. Would you do it again or recommend it for other 7th graders? Um, I probably would do it again, um, and I definitely would recommend it. Why? Um, just, it's a really good experience to have, and it's really fun. Thank you. Are you excited about the frog dissection? Yes, I am. Why? Well, it's a whole entire new experience I am learning about. I am dissecting well, an animal, and it's a definitely unique experience, and it's really interesting. What do you think you will learn from this experience? Well, I feel like I will learn more about the human body and like the organs of the frog and just how it really functions. What are you expecting out of this dissection? Well, what I'm expecting is a lot of really I guess gross things. I mean, after all, we are cutting to a body, a frog, so it's kind of probably going to be a little weird. Thank you. I'm here with Mrs. Smith and I'm going to ask her a few questions. Why do the students only dissect frogs? Um, we actually do dissect a few other things, but um, we don't get enough of them, so they will actually get to look at um, a dissected shark, they'll get to look at starfish, they'll get to look at a cow brain, lots of really cool stuff. So they just don't dissect them themselves. The frogs is just easier because they come in a big package and we're able to utilize them better. So. Why can't they dissect other animals? They just don't come in the good packaging that the frogs do. It just makes it a lot easier. So that's why we do the frogs. What will the students learn from this dissection? They'll learn the comparisons and differences between the human body systems and the frog body systems. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. The experiment is used for the students to compare the human anatomy to the anatomy of a frog. They look for certain organs like the stomach, heart, and the small and large intestines. Thanks for watching. Back to you, anchors. In other news, the Skyview girls basketball team has had a very good season. Good job, girls. What's with the image? It's the wrong image. Oops. Anyways, why did the basketball player sign up for crafting club? Why? Because he wanted to learn how to make baskets. <laughs> Mason and I and Chase will have more information on our basketball team and Skyview's wrestling team. Take it away. Today we're here in the gym with the Skyview girls basketball team. Basketball is an inside sport. There are some professional leagues on this sport. So far, the 8th graders have won all their games except for one. Today, we are here with Amaya Key, and we're going to be asking her some questions. Okay. How long have you been playing basketball and why? Um, I've been playing for five years, I believe, and I play it because it's a fun sport and I like cooperating with the team. Um, who was your first basketball team that you uh, played for and why did you play for them? Uh, I first played for the Lady Junior Wolves. And I played for them because I was like my dad was personal friends with the coach. Today I am here with Ava, and we're going to be asking her a few questions. How do you like basketball? Um, I like basketball because it's a good stress reliever, and it's a good way to spend time with your friends and to be part of a team. Um, I played basketball for four years. Um, yeah, it is because there's so much pressure on you, but at the same time, it's fun because it kind of motivates you to do your best. As you can see, the players this season have been doing very well. The 7th graders so far have won 10 games and lost one. Now we are going to head over to Skyview's very own wrestling team. Wrestling is a sport where you pin people down and you have 3 seconds to get out of their pin. There are many moves such as the cradle. I'm here with Jordan Baye. How long have you been wrestling for? Well, I've been doing this since I was 7. What inspired you to wrestle? Um, just my dad used to wrestle and he always, always wanted me to do 
do it, and he's taught me a lot in my club. My coach Greg, Coach Niebuhr, Coach Stern. Good for you, Jordan. Yes, I am. And then Thursday we get to go against our rivals Horizon here. It's gonna be fun. I'm here with Adam Carter. How do you like wrestling so far, Adam? Why? I've been doing it for a really long time. I'm getting better over time, but I really like it because it really helps you with like anger issues and stuff. And it helps me keep up with my grades. Are you excited for your wrestling meets, Adam? Uh, yes, I am. It, it helps us, and it's really fun because we get out of class earlier. The first wrestling meet was Tuesday, and the next one is Thursday today. They have practices every day and at the end of school. Back to you, Akers. Meanwhile, Sebastian, Michaela, and Jay have some photos they wish to share with us. What? You don't have a joke? Why did the banana go to the doctor? Why? Because he wasn't peeling well. That had nothing to do with the photo slideshow. Oh well. Enough of that. Let's get the photo slideshow rolling. Why'd you decide to be a teacher? Well, my dad was always a, te was a teacher growing up. He was a high school social studies teacher. So with my brothers and sisters, especially my sisters, we would always play school growing up. And it was something I've always been drawn to with my own kids. And just since I've gone to school, it's been something that I've enjoyed teaching and sharing knowledge. How long have you been teaching for? This is my sixth year in the school districts in Colorado Springs. Um, it's my first year actually teaching. I came as a para. I was a volunteer before that and an aide. I did elementary and then I did middle school. And this is my fourth year, I think, doing middle school now. Why do you teach language arts? I got my degree in English um, from BYU and I started off in teaching and then went to editing and then I've kind of gone back to teaching, but I've always enjoyed grammar. I've enjoyed reading. Um, my kids are big readers, so it's just a natural flow coming back into English. What did you do before teaching? Um, I was a mom. I got to stay home with my kids for like 12 and a half years, um, doing all the mom stuff. And besides that, I did a bit of freelance editing and writing, which I still do now, but now most of my time is lesson plans and teaching. What are your favorite things to eat? I'm not too picky, I like food. I love Cheetos, I like mounds, as most of my kiddos know from um, Halloween. A lot of you brought them in, which I appreciate. Other than that, I love Chinese food. It's usually my to-go food. What are your hobbies? I enjoy getting outside, especially with my kids and my dog. We like to go hiking, camping. Um, I like to try new things. I tried skydiving a couple years ago. Um, I like to travel. I went to New Zealand a couple years ago. I want to go somewhere on spring break. Uh, other than that, I like working out. I like sleeping when I get a chance. And just anything new. Do you enjoy school lunches or do you buy lunch somewhere else? I've actually never looked at the school lunches here. Um, I always bring my own lunch, and even today I have a really sad lunch, so maybe I should go check it out, but usually I just bring my own lunch. Do you have any pets, and if so, what are they? We have a lot of pets. We have a dog named Guido, we have a rabbit named Suki, we have two birds, um, Skiddly and Frosty. We have a fish named 
Ooh, we just got it and I can't remember what she named this one. My daughter got it and then we have a turtle named Lucky because we saved him from being killed. Who's your favorite superhero and why? I'm not sure I have a favorite superhero. Maybe Spider-Man just because I like those movies. What is your favorite color and why? My favorite color is pink. My nails are usually pink. That's kind of my thing. They're not today, but usually pink. Die to you, Acres. You're not allowed to do jokes anymore. I can't believe you did that to me. <sighs> so dramatic. Fine, I didn't want to ask my co-anchor anyways. Lexi and Hunter are interviewing 7th graders building sugar cube castles as a project in social studies. I like sugar! And I like building stuff! <gasps> sugar cube castles! Hi, I'm Hunter. And I'm Lexi. And today we're going to be checking out Mr. Kern's class. To see sugar cube castles. Let's go! Students build sugar cube castles for the medieval times unit. The sugar cube castles are when you build castles out of sugar cubes, when you build them and put them together with frosting. Everyone loves sugar cube castles. Mr. Curran thought to do sugar cube castles because he saw Mr. Heaston and thought it was a brilliant idea. He decided to do it with his kids. This is his second year building sugar cube castles with his students. I'm here with Caitlin, and I'm going to ask her a few questions about the sugar cube castles. First question, what makes building the sugar cube castles fun? Um, that you just got to like experience how to like build stuff and like because you didn't get to like plan I mean you didn't get to plan it but like it kind of just like was in a hurry and you just had a certain amount of time to build it. Cool. <laughs> what was your favorite part about building your castle? Um, that we got to work in a group. At the end we got to just like destroy it. And it was just, I like the destroying part, I guess. That sounds really fun. Thank you, Caitlin. Hi, I'm here with Kayla. And I'm going to be asking you a few questions today. Um, how do you build sugar cube castles? Um, so you kind of just take some sugar cubes and frosting, and you just put frosting on the bottom and you put a sugar cube on top and just keep doing it. Um, what do you have to learn from this experience? Like, what did you learn about this experience? It's kind of hard to build them, but it's really fun because you get to bond with your team and I don't know, it kind of just shows how to, I don't know how to explain it, but it allows you to build tiny objects that don't really look out. And do you have anything to tell to subscribers? Maybe just make sure that you don't eat the castle before you finished, because I know we did. Thank you. Students have to build castles out of sugar cubes, frosting, and decoration supplies such as Sour Patch Kids, Red Vines, Gummy Bears, Sweetest Fish, Gumdrops, and Graham Crackers. I'm Hunter. And I'm Lexi. And that's all for Sugar Cube Castles. Hope you'll discover more. Bye! <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. You replaced me already. It's not what it looks like. Really? <sighs> I'm not mad anymore. I bet the banana was a better anchor than I am. No worries. All I did was stand there. Phew, good. At least you didn't steal my thunder. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cows go. Cows go who? No, silly, cows go moo. Oh my god. Anyways, Jade, Michaela, and Sebastian are in charge of the announcements this week. All 8th grade girls planning on going to Vista Ridge High School and wanting to play volleyball, there is a Vista Ridge Futures Camp starting April 7th. Please pick up a flyer for Miss Raz, Mr. Moore, or The Office. Archery intramurals will start on the 26th of February and end on March 8th. This will take place in the Skyview Middle School Little Gym. It will start every day from 7 to 7.30. Please pick up a form outside the gym if you're interested, or see Mr. Marino or Mr. Moore if you have any questions. The first broadcast of this semester sure was interesting. Yeah, I think we're setting the bar pretty high. Yeah, so Skyview, stay tuned. That was this week's broadcast. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great four-day weekend. Bye! Bye.